Hello Fainting Fiefs and welcome! It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. It's a happy place. I'm happy to be here and I'm certainly happy that you are all here as well. We are working on a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas today and our base coat is already down. Our base coat is yummy. Let me show it to you here in this cup if you can see it it's got a little bit of thickness to it leaves a mound on a mound as sweet mina says because we are doing a multiple ring pour today and when i do my multiple ring pours i like my paints thicker than when i do my swipes so i adjust my pouring medium for my ring pours so that they're a little bit thicker. When I'm doing a swipe, I'm 50% Floetrol to 50% Golden GAC 800. When I'm doing a ring pour or straight pour, my paints need to be thicker. So I am 75% Floetrol, 25% Golden GAC 800. The reason for that is Floetrol is heavier than GAC. So I upped my Floetrol to thicken up my pouring medium to help thicken up the consistency in my paints. The reason is most of my paints are fluid paints, so they're very, very thin. So that's what I do, and I'm okay with that. So I had a sweet paint and peep reach out to me about a week or two ago and schedule a FaceTime class with me, which I do quite a few times a week. She was lovely and she knows who she is and she brought her Peyton friend along. So I had two lovely ladies that I got to spend a couple of hours with yesterday and they wanted to do some earth tones and uh, Nisi was doing um, a painting for her sister's home and we used some lovely colors and they did a lovely painting. I will post a picture of it uh, for you all to see. I'm sure she will not mind. And um, it just reminded me so much of how much I love my earth tones. So we've got our earth tones going on. This is not a black canvas that you are looking at. That is a shimmery brown canvas. Um, I use Modern Masters Metallic Paints in the English Brown and I mixed into it to lighten it up a little bit and add kind of just a nice muted tone going on here. I added the Modern Masters Metallic Paints in the Nickel and this is a semi-opaque paint. So it gave a really nice, kind of like my Rust-Oleum does. You can see kind of the texture in it, kind of like, uh, like satin sheets is uh, what I think it reminds me of. Not that I sleep on satin sheets, I sleep on cotton sheets. I don't want to slide all over the place when I'm trying to catch some shut eye. So our colors that are going into our cup today I love Golden Fluids Iridescent Bronze. It's a fluid paint. One more reason why I upped my Floetrol to thicken them up. This is Golden Fluids, the Iridescent Copper, and those of you who have been following me for a while know how that paint warms my heart. This is a yummy color. You know, I am out of gold and um, I don't use a lot of gold, but I wanted a goldy hue in here. So I use the Modern Masters Rich Gold, but that wasn't rich enough for me. So I went ahead and added a couple of squirts of the golden yellow okra in the fluid paints. So I did not need to add, I did need to add a little bit of water to this because this is a heavier body paint than the fluid paints that I mentioned uh, um, just a few minutes ago. Now this is a nice, nice color. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Let me show you my consistencies too. This is not the base coat color. That is a combination of Arteza 
deep brown, or as my massy boy Jeremy says, the chocolate brown. And I added to it just a smidgen of the DecoArt satin enamel in the gray taupe. Maybe we'll get some nice little reactions going on because we got a little satin enamel in there. This is Golden Fluid Acrylics and this is the Burnt Sienna. This is becoming one of my favorite colors, guys. It's just so rich and warm and luscious. And this is the Q Word in the Nickel Azo Gold, once again, Golden Fluid Acrylics. And our final color today is our base coat color, which is the Modern Masters Nickel and the Modern Masters English Brown. So there you have it, guys. Hey, something I wanted to talk about that I mentioned to um, the ladies during my class yesterday, and it was, it was good advice. I always mix up more paints than I need. I always have extra base coat on hand. I can always put a lid on this. This will last for several weeks in case I need to use it to erase something. Um, I always have extra uh, paints in my cup in case I decide I want an extra cup, an extra ring cup to pour. If I want to add some uh, additional copper, always have extra paints and they store either in your squeeze bottle for so, so long or the little plastic cups that have the lid. So always have extra paint on hand. You never know when you're gonna need it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my cups ready and put some tunes on and uh, put some tunes on for you guys. I'm glad you're here. Let's get busy.
Amen. Uh-huh.